Hi everyone, this is Nia and a while ago someone commented on my old autumn doodle video asking for a winter version So I decided to do a pen doodle with watercolor wash or you can also keep this as a pen doodle if you would like I'm just going to begin by drawing out the composition. I found this picture on Pinterest by McBooboos. I thought that this is so cute and I like the idea of having a fun Christmas sweater in the middle since I can play with the pattern design later and have different winter or Christmas doodles all around the sweater. I began by just doing a very rough sketch just to figure out the different elements I can fit into this page that is the main objective at this point. I already know that I want the sweater to be the focal point which is why I drew that out first and I want to make sure that when I'm sketching I'm only doing very rough shapes without thinking too much about the details and clean lines. This is supposed to be a very quick sketch just to map out the space so if I need and I will need to make changes with the placement later I can erase it without having my time wasted from focusing too long on one subject that I'm just going to erase anyway. These were just the items that I could think of at that time when I was sketching but you can also add any other elements that you would like. As an example here, I wanted to create another ginger cookie or gingerbread that is hung with a piece of string. And when I realized that this would look better if the string starts right at the edge of the page, I could easily make the decision to erase the beanie that I quickly sketched earlier. After drawing out all the main elements and getting the visualization of the space and how it frames the sweater, I can see that the sweater is placed too high and I also want it to be straight instead of tilted, so I just erased it and this time I can start to figure out the shapes that I want to make to create the sweater to look fluffy and cozy because I'm quite happy with the rest of the composition already. To make it look more fluffy, I want the bottom of the sweater, including the arms, to be wider and rounder so the sweater looks really big and loose. I made sure that I'm happy with the shape of the sweater first because that's the focal point. And once I'm done, I'm going to clean out the rest of the surrounding doodles as well as to clean the line so it's not too scratchy. You can use any colors that you would like for this because it's basically just coloring in an outline but in case you want to create the same or similar color palette to mine, here are the colors that I'll be using. Firstly, starting from the left, I have Yellow Ochre by Holbein, Buff Titanium by Daniel Smith, Compost Blue by Holbein, Cobalt Blue by Holbein, Burnt Sienna by Holbein, Naphthal Red by M. Graham, Hooker's Green by Cotman, and Tansy Yellow Light by Daniel Smith. I'll also be using Sakura Micron and Sepia, and my White Jelly Roll Pen. Because I'm going to be painting this, I'm only going to outline what I've drawn out here which is the basic line art without adding too much texture or detail. This way I can play a bit more with the colors and if I ever want to add extra texture, I can add it on later after I've colored in the doodles. Personally, I don't mind adding a bit of texture to smaller areas though but I like leaving big areas empty especially for things like the sweater or the glove so I can add more detail or the design when I paint. While inking your drawing, you can also make corrections to the pencil outline if you ever need to but from here I'm just going to basically outline the rest of the doodles.
For the hat or the beanie, I already knew before painting that I wanted this to be one color which is why I'm going to outline the design by drawing out dashed lines. So the design isn't too strong but it's still there to help with the colors later. I'm also going to outline the leaves here and I'm also going to paint on more later to fill in the gaps. Once I'm done with the basic outline, I'm just going to try to clean the pencil marks as best as I can but if you leave out a few lines, it's okay. I want the hat to be white but instead of just having the white of the paper, I want to create this creamy color. At first, I used a mixture of buff titanium with John Brilliant but I didn't end up liking the color mixture so I ended up using a mixture between buff titanium and yellow ochre which is the color that I'm going to use for all the white elements in this page. For the base layer of this hat, I used a very light consistency so you can tell that the color is very light and then I used a thicker consistency to paint around the pattern and also underneath the pom-poms just to add a bit of dimension. I'm also going to paint the rest of the white elements in this page with the same color mixture and a thin consistency. Personally, when I'm painting on pen doodles, I'm not too worried about being neat or going over the line because I like the looser washes for these types of doodles but this is just a style and you can make this as neat as you want if that's the style that you're going for. For the sweater, I'm going to divide up the areas with different colors, firstly with the cream mix and then I'm also going to create two shades of blue. After this, I'm going to mix a light muted blue from a mix of cerulean blue with buff titanium and I'm just going to paint certain areas as the base color of the design that I want to create later. I personally felt like painting something with this muted blue color which is why I've chosen this for the focal point or the main element of this painting but you can also create your own design and color combinations if you'd like. This is very much open to interpretation. I want to also use a dark blue to complete the sweater and for this I mix cobalt blue with a tiny bit of yellow ochre and buff titanium to mute the color slightly.
I'm just going to leave the base color of the sweater to dry now so I can paint on the design later and I'm going to move on to all the other elements. Here I'm painting the Christmas cake just by using burnt sienna. I'm also going to use burnt sienna again to paint the gingerbread man and I'm going to layer a slightly thicker consistency after this to make the button and the rest of the icing on the gingerbread man pop up a bit more. But as I was adding the shadow underneath the eyes, the gingerbread man started looking a bit psycho so I ended up smudging the shadow on the face to neutralize it and I just smudged the rest of the paint to the rest of the face and also the gingerbread man as glaze to just increase the color saturation. For the heart ginger cookie, I'm going to use burnt sienna again but in a slightly thicker consistency for the inside part just to make the color a bit different. I'm basically trying to color the elements of these doodles according to what is loaded on my brush so I don't have to keep going back and forth with different colors. I'm just taking advantage at the fact that these doodles are very simple and uses only flat colors which doesn't require much mixing or layering. So for the outer part of the ginger cookie I used burnt sienna but in a thinner consistency and here I also use the same color to paint the hot chocolate. For the cookies I use a mixture between burnt sienna and yellow ochre to make a slightly different brown and I'm also going to use the same color mixture for the head of the acorn. For the bottom part of the acorn I'm going to go back to the burnt sienna again and I'm just going to paint both of them using quite a thick consistency. I thought about the design of the gloves so I'm going to go back to the cream mixture again and start painting on the design. This one is just going to be fairly simple considering I only have a tiny space to work with. Here I'm just doing crisscrosses with the cream mixture and I'm going to paint the rest using the muted light blue color. Here I decided to leave out a bit of white between the crisscrosses but this is completely optional because you can actually just paint it fully in blue and use a white gel pen to add the white after you finish painting the rest of the design. Here I added crisscrosses to the head of the acorn to add a little bit of texture. For the icing on the Christmas cake, I ended up just using buff titanium because I didn't want to leave it completely white but I didn't want it to be the cream color either. And as for the cherries and also the jam of the cookies, I'm just going to use naffle red. For the royal icing on the heart cookie, I'm going to use a mixture of naffle red with buff titanium to create a pink, but you can also leave it white or any other color you want. I'm also going to use the same color for the marshmallows on the hot chocolate. Now that the gloves are completely dry, I'm going back in with the muted dark blue and I'm going to paint on some line designs for extra color accents. Here I'm going to use a mixture of burnt sienna and cobalt blue to create a dark brown color which I'm going to use to paint on the designs on the sweater for the white areas. Here I'm just painting simple pine trees using my liner brush by drawing a line and two arrows going upwards. I'm also going to paint tiny versions on the sleeves or you can also use a pen for this if it's a bit too small for you to paint on. You can doodle on any types of designs you want on the sweater after you've established the areas or the sections. Here I'm just going to add crisscrosses, but you can also paint on other patterns as well. Going back to the muted dark blue, I'm going to create tiny hearts using my liner brush for the top section of the sweater on the light blue area. I'm also going to do the same for the gloves as well.
I'm going to add dashed lines to the cream part of the sweater. I think this gives a cute handmade stitch pattern. Here I initially mix yellow ochre with cobalt blue, but the green didn't turn out as dark as I wanted to, so I added hooker's green to darken it, and I'm going to use this to paint the leaves of the holly. For this leaf, I used the cobalt blue mix with yellow ochre, and as for the acorn leaf at the bottom here, I added more yellow ochre to make the color a bit more yellow-brown. For this candle, I just used Hansa Yellow Light. Now I'm going to paint the cup and for this I'm going to use naphthal red. I'm starting with a thin consistency but I actually find that it will look better with a thicker consistency of the naphthal red so I ended up layering a thicker consistency after this. So you can just go straight in with a thicker consistency naphthal red to create a more saturated cup. I've painted most of the elements already so I'm going to fill in the gaps by using different greens to paint small leaves all around. Here I used hooker's green with a bit of burnt sienna to mute slightly but you can create so many different tones using the limited colors here by mixing things like red, the burnt sienna or the yellow ochre to the hooker's green or to mix it to the cobalt blue and just play around with different ratios to get different tones to get more of a brown green tone you can add burnt sienna to get more of a yellow brown you can add yellow ochre and if you want the color to be a bit more like a deeper green you can add a higher ratio of cobalt blue into the hooker screen and just experiment with the different shades and different leaf shapes I'm going to keep it simple by painting basic leaf shapes with branches and for some I'm also going to dot them using naphthal red for added pop of color and just added berries For these brown leaves, I used a mixture of Hansa Yellow Light with Burnt Sienna. As you can see, we don't even need to make only green leaves. Just have fun and experiment with the colors that you have. I also wanted more blue in the composition so I used the light blue mixture from earlier from compost blue with buff titanium but this time I added a touch of yellow ochre to mute it further and I'm using a very thin consistency to paint dots in different sizes to depict snowballs. Okay so I've painted most of the doodles already here I'm just adding finishing touches by adding textures like added line design for the doodles like the gloves or the acorn. You can also layer on a bit more detail like I did for the candle and also added more fruits in the fruit cake. And I didn't like how some of the leaves look too textured with just the watercolors so I ended up outlining some of them. Finally, I'm going to use my white jelly roll pen to draw on white dots on the sweater and gloves to make it consistent with the snowballs in the composition and also any parts where you want to add thin white designs. I've also realized that I've forgotten to paint the plates for the fruit cake and the hot chocolate, so I just colored it in using the cream mixture from earlier for the whites. And that's it, this is the completed winter doodles and this was so much fun to draw and paint. Like usual, all the list of tools that I use for this painting as well as my social media links will be listed in my description box. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching till the end and I'll see you at the next one. Bye!